Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In today's video, I'll be explaining you about space complexity. So, you already know what is space complexity, but you just know the definition of it, right? But now let us see, when you are given an algorithm, how do you calculate the space complexity of that particular algorithm, okay? So space complexity is nothing but amount of space an algorithm requires, whether it is 2 bytes or 3 bytes or 5 bytes, or whatever amount of space an algorithm requires in order to complete its execution is called as the time complexity. Okay, so now uh, let us see how do you calculate. The time complexity of an algorithm is calculated by using this formula yeah s of p is equal to c plus sp now what is s of p what is c what is sp i'll explain you so s of p is nothing but the space complexity that is the space complexity of an algorithm is c means here constant part in an algorithm you will have constant part as well as the variable part right i'll explain you with an example don't worry we have two examples in this video so the complex whatever uh, sorry the whatever constant parts are there will come under this category whatever variable parts are there will come under sp that is the these va these values are constant they do not depend on any of the variables any of the other variables they do not depend okay whereas sp is changing and it depends on the variable i mean it depends on the other variables okay it is variable part or it is also called as the dependent part okay clear next so now let us uh, see an algorithm for calculating the sum of two numbers. So you already know the algorithm, but you what is your task here? You have to calculate the space complexity of this algorithm. Okay. Okay. So algorithm is sum of PQR. PQR are the variables that are involved in this algorithm. Okay. P is having the value of one, and Q is having a value of two, and R is having a value of P plus Q. Okay. Now so let us calculate the space so for constants you can always take the space as one unit okay so here we have three variables right p q r p is a constant okay so that is why you can take the space as one unit and q is also constant so for this also you can take one unit of space p q r are integers if they are integers they will occupy two bytes if they are floating they may occupy more so it depends on the uh, programming language as well in java we will have one space um, constraints in c we will have one and in uh, c plus plus we have one in python so like that it depends on the language and it depends on the uh, whether it is an integer or it is a float or it is a double value or whatever it is so we are taking it as one unit and r is also constant right so for this also we should take it as one unit only okay now what is our formula to calculate why r is constant means see r is nothing but you are adding p and q so you when you add p and q you'll be getting the r r value is not changing dynamically right so s of p is equal to c plus sp so c is nothing but the constant part how many constants you have here we have three constants so one plus one plus one and we don't have any variable part right so you can leave it so what do you get three so how much you got s of p is equal to three you got right so this is written as o of one that is order of one it is having a space complexity of order of one if you are having constants you can take as one okay if not constants n n square n cube will come based on the uh, algorithm okay that you will understand um, on looking at some more examples N next example also i'll explain don't worry here why we took o of one means for constants you should take order of one only instead of three here if you have 10 o of one only you should take if you have ten thousand o of one only you have to take if you get a constant you should take o of one that's all okay now let us see the second this example. example is also about calculating the sum of elements only but here we are calculating the sum of elements present in an array we are not taking just two uh, elements or three elements like that we are not taking the we are calculating the sum of elements which are present in the array okay so sum of s comma n here s is nothing but the array name and n is nothing but the size of the array okay next total is equal to zero initially we are initializing total total or you can take sum also whatever as zero 
ओके नेक्स्ट फ्रॉम आई इज इक्वल टू जीरो टू एन आई इज नथिंग बट दी लाइक वी हैव टेकन अ इनिशियलाइजिंग वेरिएबल ओके फ्रॉम जीरो टू एन वॉट यू आर डूइंग टोटल इज इक्वल टू टोटल प्लस एस ऑफ आई ओके सो नाउ लेट अस सी हाउ वी कैलकुलेट दिस स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी फॉर दिस एलगोरिथम इन दिस वॉट आर द वेरिएबल्स वी हैव वी हैव एस एंड वी हैव एन वी हैव टोटल एंड वी हैव आई so the value of n is fixed the uh, size of the array is fixed so you will be taking it as one unit only and total value is also fixed initially it is zero on you know as it keeps on adding the value will increase so it is also one unit only next the value of i is also one unit only because in one iteration the value of i will be zero in the second iteration it will be one in the third iteration it will be two like that the value of i is also fixed now coming to s s is depending on i s of i so whatever i value is there based on that we are taking s of i right ba based on the i value we are calculating s we are taking s so s is a depending variable it is depending on i got it so for s you cannot take one unit you need to take it as n units okay got it if it is depending on two variables n square you have to take if it is depending on three variables n cube like that so now what will be what is the formula for calculating the complexity s of p is equal to constant plus sp constant how many 1 Plus one plus one plus S P is n. Okay, so what do you get? You get three plus n. So even though you're getting three plus n, you should not consider this three. Why? Because you are having n. So whatever is having the highest power, you have to consider that. Got it? So you have to not consider three because you have n. If there is no n directly, you can consider three. But since you have n. you need to consider it as o of n instead of n you got n square then it will be o of n square okay so like that i hope you guys are clear so whatever is ha having the highest power that only you have to consider so this is the space complexity so the space complexity is order of n for this algorithm okay this is how you calculate the space complexity got it guys so that's all for this video thanks for watching the video till the end let's meet up in the next coming video with another topic till then stay tuned to my channel and if you're having any doubts let me know in the comment section